Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can use thought transmission to manifest your specific person, okay? So just going to get right into it. Your person is thinking what you're thinking about them, okay? That's what the law of assumption is about. The law of assumption says that whatever you assume to be true about someone else or a situation is what they're going to act out. Whatever you believe to be true about your reality is what's going to be played out. Okay, so I'm going to reference a Neville quote here. Neville Goddard, if you don't already know, wrote um, a lot of books about manifestation and um, law of assumption. So if you haven't already heard of him, do check him out. But also a disclaimer, this isn't a full-on Neville channel. I will um, reference and credit his ideas when applicable. But yeah, most of this channel is about what works best for me and what I think, you know, just what I've noticed works best for the collective in general. Okay, so yeah, a lot of them will be my assumptions. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, you guys, that transmission 100% works. Okay, inner conversations are real. You can have inner conversations with people to manifest exactly what you want. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and um, reference this Neville quote here real quick. So Neville says, a friend a thousand miles away is rooted in your consciousness through your fixed ideas of him or her. To think of him or her or whoever, to, he just says him, um, and represent him to yourself inwardly in the state that you desire him to be, confident that this subjective image is as true as it were as it were already objectified, awakens him in a corresponding state, which he must objectify. Basically, he's saying that whatever you think about your SP will reflect in your reality. Your SP must conform, okay? They have no choice but to conform. So that's why it's really important for you to think positively about them, think the best of them, okay, even if there's something that they did that, you know, pissed you off, that's especially when you should be changing your thoughts about them. Okay, so I stress self-concept a lot in my videos, and while that is very important, you also have to make sure that you are changing your thoughts about your specific person, okay? Having a good self-concept but not actually using the law of assumption is like being really prepared for an interview, knowing that you're really smart, knowing that you're qualified, other people knowing that you're really smart and qualified as well, but you not just showing up to the interview. You just you just not showing up to the interview. That's how it's like sometimes, okay? So you have to utilize all this work that you have been doing and actually change your assumptions about other people. And I promise you they will reflect that, okay? They will show up exactly as you want them to be, okay? So if you're the type of person that's thinking or like, thinking things along the lines of, oh, well, I'm so nice, well, I'm so kind, uh, why aren't they committing to me, or why are other girls, or why are there guys mean to me, why, why why are people jealous of me? First of all, no, you have to stop thinking that way, because um, if you do think that way, that is how they're going to show up, okay? So you have to see people differently, you have to see the circumstances, you know, the situation differently. First of all, circumstances don't matter, but, you know, anything that is hindering you from getting your manifestation, anything that, you know, might be causing a delay or resistance, you have to flip the script. You have to start, um, you know, really getting on top of your mental diet, which just means getting on top of your thoughts, consciously monitoring your thoughts and making sure they're in alignment with your manifestations, okay? So, for example, if your SP hasn't showed up, if you're in no contact and your person just has not contacted you at all, that's because you still might have the underlying assumption, you know, the dominant assumption that, you know, SP doesn't want to talk to you or they're busy talking to other people or, you know, they, they just have a habit of ghosting and engaging in hot and cold behavior, okay? And that's why it's up to you to revise that. That's why it's up to you to do self, to do, you know, affirmations to make sure that's not the case anymore, okay? And yeah, you know, self-concept is really helpful because it will help you change things about people that you might not have liked before. Like, for example, you know, if your SP, let, let's say, you know, they were like following other people on Instagram, um, liking other girls or guys pictures or whatever. Um, and, you know, that's something that you're still seeing in your reality. That could be because, you know, you might need to, you, that's your, that's your old assumption. Okay. That not really could be, that is your assumption that like, you know, they're doing that maybe because they did end up doing that like once or twice and your brain's just like, oh my gosh, they're going to keep doing this. This is a pattern I've been through this. Okay. 
no already stop like that's spiraling that's you know your brain does not need to go there and it's okay if you do get those thoughts i'm not you know reprimanding anyone for that but the minute you start thinking those thoughts that's when it's time for you to consciously monitor those thoughts and flip the script okay change them be like no this is not what i want that's not the case okay um sp never followed anyone sp never liked anyone's pictures you know they were always loyal to me i'm the only person that they have you know eyes for okay and what i was saying is that doing self-concept will really help you change these thoughts that you might be thinking like oh i'm not worthy enough or i'm not good enough a lot of the times when you see your sp doing things that kind of triggers you or something that you don't like that's because deep down you might think that okay well you know clearly i'm not worthy enough for this guy to be loyal to me or this per this girl this woman this whoever to be loyal to me and that's why they keep doing that that's why it's so important for you to do self-concept affirmations and then use that to change your assumptions into something that is conducive to your manifestations okay into something that will help you be more in alignment with your manifestations and bring your manifestations in faster okay that's not to say you should do self-concept only to you know manifest but uh you know self-concept does help you change those feelings of you know not feeling good enough not feeling worthy enough being triggered by the 3d spiraling okay your sp is thinking of you right now they care about you they don't want to be with anyone else they're sitting in their room thinking about how they can text you they're thinking about what they want to say to you that's the only reason there's a delay who's a delay i don't even know she doesn't exist you know you have to start thinking that way you have to start hyping yourself up you have to start like i know <laughs> as crazy as it sounds you have to start even being a little bit delusional because that's how things manifest okay anything that you see you have to be like no this is not if this is not something you want just be like no this is another reality this is another dimension um, i like giving the example of playing like mario kart or like a video game or you know wearing like vr goggles okay you're just in another reality and you don't have to be in that reality you can shift anytime you can quantum jump quantum shift uh whatever you know you prefer to use anytime okay so that's why it's really important for you to make sure you're thinking positive thoughts about your specific person so that they can get that okay thought transmission is real your person is thinking what you're thinking and you know another reason why it's so important to have good self-concept is so that you know you're when you feel like you're worthy enough to be in a full-on committed relationship to get loyalty to you know get monogamy to be spoiled treated well to have people you know, cherish you, adore you, spoil you with love, affection, attention, care, gifts. You know, when you say that about yourself, your SP will also start thinking that about you. Okay, they're just like, you know what? Yeah, you know, this person, oh my gosh, I gotta spoil them more. I gotta cherish them more. I gotta give them more attention. So that's why doing self-concept really helps. That's why seeing your SP in another light really helps. Okay, you have to um, just realize that we live in a world or universe or whatever you want to call it with infinite realities infinite dimensions and you know if you were if you did manifest the version of your sp that goes to that you know isn't treating you well you can also manifest the exact opposite okay there is a version of them out there that is ready to commit to you that is going to contact you that is going to hit you up that's going to be the most royal person in the best relationship that you know you've ever been in okay it's possible for you to have it all. It's possible for you to have your SP regardless of circumstances because circumstances don't matter. Whether it's long distance, whether there's a 3P, uh, none of that matters, okay? At the end of the day, nothing is impossible, okay? It's just a matter of you thinking differently and really persisting in your affirmations, okay? Um, again, you don't necessarily have to believe in your affirmations. You just have to believe that manifestation works, okay? You have to just get on top of your thoughts, consciously monitor your thoughts, and make sure that, you know, whatever you're thinking about your SP, it's in alignment with what your end goal is. That's really what living in the end means. That's yet another video that I'm going to make. Living in the end just means that your SP is doing everything that you know you would be doing if you were together. So it, if you're manifesting a happy, committed relationship with your specific person, you wouldn't have to worry about you know checking their Instagram profile, seeing who they're following, seeing who they're friending, right? Um, no, because being in a committed relationship implies that you have trust. Okay, so that's really what living in the end means. Um, living in the end also, just a bit of a 
you know, disclaimer because I have seen so many questions. I've gotten so many questions about this. Doesn't mean you have to change every single little thing about your specific person. Like, you know, thought transmission is real, but you don't have to, like, you know, flip every single little thing you can do. You can do blanket affirmations as well. If that's exhausting for you, which is totally understandable, by the way, you can do blanket affirmations. Like, SP always values me, always prioritizes me. We're always in constant contact. Okay, I'm always loved. I'm always pursued. I'm always adored. People worship the ground that I walk on. I'm the best anyone can ever get anyone would be lucky to be in a full-on committed relationship with me you see how i mixed both sp affirmations and self-concept affirmations and kind of did revision okay um saying things like i've always been valued i've always been prioritized implies that you have always been valued you have always been prioritized your sp never ghosted you no one ever ghosted you no one ever rejected you you had the perfect love life in fact another affirmation i recommend you use is i always have happy healthy relationships okay saying things like always kind of does um it does wonders because it's a way of revision without you having to revise every single little thing okay so it's like for example let's see let's say you notice that your SP followed like a girl on Instagram or a guy on Instagram, you don't have to revise every single person. Just be like, no, the only person, the only girl, the only guy um, SP follows is me, okay? Or along with, you know, their friends and family and things like that. The only person that SP is romantically interested in is me. The only person that SP wants to date, marry, give all their love, attention, affection to is me, okay? So yeah, when you start thinking that way, they will also start thinking that way, okay? They... They think what you think, okay? You can look this up, it's a term called quantum entanglement, which is similar to what Neville said, no matter how far you are away from someone, you know, you have the power to choose the best version of that person by just thinking differently, okay? You can influence their thoughts by just thinking differently of yourself and have them reflect and show up as that, okay? You can, um, you know, yes, think differently of yourself, but also think differently of them. And I promise you, they will conform. They will show up that way. Um, it is, it's a must. The law is always working. Law of assumption is like one of the biggest universal it's the truth of the universe okay it is 100 percent true um let me just give you an example like even for those people that believe in religion that believe in like law of attraction technically they're believing in law of assumption because they're assuming that those things are true hence proving that the law of assumption is always in place so whatever you assume must be true it must reflect in your reality okay something else that i want to point out um is that if you notice that you're getting the opposite of your manifestations you could have it in your subconscious mind it could be an assumption like a dominant assumption that whatever you know you think of the opposite manifests okay so that that, that could be an assumption that you have so it's up to you to change that and say no whatever i want manifests okay not the opposite whatever i want to happen always manifests because uh, a lot of the times maybe you know in your younger years or even recently you might have um felt unconfident about something i always give this example but let's say you thought you failed the test but you actually ended up doing a lot better you know you just started thinking that way it impressed onto your subconscious well okay if i think the opposite of something then you know i'm gonna end up getting that okay and you know if i mean technically if that's what works best for you if that is something that works like if that's an assumption that you have and it does bring about things into your reality you can do that but you know why would you want to do that you shouldn't be thinking the opposite you should be thinking good thoughts you should be thinking like no this person loves me they're going to be loyal um they are loyal okay i am valued i am prioritized i am cherished my relationships always work out so if the law of opposition i think that's what it's called is something you see happening in your reality then oppose that just be like no that's not a real thing only what i want manifests okay only what i'm you know only the things that um, are conducive to my desires are what manifests only my positive manifestations manifest okay i only notice good things happening to me or um only my positive thoughts my positive underlying assumptions and dominant thoughts manifest okay say things like that promise you your sp will conform i promise you you will get everything you want okay not just with sp but any sort of desire you have you will get that okay just think differently love yourself boom your desires are there Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I really hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions about manifestation or, or there's certain topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. I can address them there or make a future video on that. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you all so much. I will see you next time.